Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2023 Ford F-150. So we are going through the different trim levels for the F-150, and now we're getting to the trimmer trim uh, on the 2023 F-150. So we're going to cover all the uh, what we call our complete guide video. It means all, we're going to cover all the standard equipment plus the different packages uh, that are available on, in the standalone uh, options on the trimmer edition here for the 2023 f-150 so if you like videos like this like to stay updated you probably like our youtube channel so hit that red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so that way you stay notified next time we have another video uploaded to our youtube channel uh so as i mentioned we're going to dive in we're going to talk about this or we're going to cover it's going to be a very a lengthy video because we are going to cover all the standard equipment first as well as the different uh, uh, there's a special equipment group uh called the high package we're going to talk about and then other different optional packages and standalone options because of that use the timestamps down below move around in this video get the content that you're looking for and use those timestamps to your advantage and uh, hopefully this is a good resource for you uh, also you can uh, order banks are open up right now for the f-150 trimmer so go to your local dealership and uh, go ahead and do that if you're struggling to find a good local dealership that knows a little bit about price protection and locking in those rates uh, law macarthur can help you out with that and we do have a special youtube offer uh free shipping we'll talk more about that at the end of the video and we do have a timestamp about that as well in the conclusion of the video so check that out as well so let's go ahead and dive in talk about some of these mechanical features first okay as we do uh talk about this we're going to use ford's building price as uh, a source for us here on uh, covering some of the information so if i can get my words out here uh so let's go on over to that um there we go and go to ford.com there and we're going to click on the trucks and vans go down to 23 f-150 hit that building price right there and we can go in and dive in here it probably will give us a warning actually let's uh, do our current location there we go and then we're going to hit this build your own there and then it does bring up and tell us there are some possible supply chain issues and constraints we'll talk more about that when we get to optional equipment and such we'll tell you what's standard on the vehicle and then under the optional if there's some things that need to be removed uh, because of constraints we'll let you know about those as well so we actually do have videos on the xl xlt lariat king ranch platinum and limited trims and now we're going to talk about the trimmer uh trim in this this video so we're going to hit start your build there and it takes a little second for it to load up there we go all right so we're going to pull that up here and uh, we have a good idea of kind of how this is all can be configured so we'll talk about the mechanical features first um and now just just so everybody knows this is available in the super crew four by four configuration five and a half foot bed are the only option there so you cannot get this in a six and a half foot bed or in a super cab uh so super crew four by four five and a half foot bed is the configuration for us on this one here uh so now we're going to go in and talk about some of this so here's uh we'll get into colors and such in a second we'll go down to this powertrain information so two different motors that are available here you do have the 5.0 liter v8 engine with the auto start stop technology with flex fuel capability so auto start stop means when you go to stop light stop sign press the brake shuts the vehicle off let go of the brake turns it back on that is something you can activate and deactivate in your vehicle settings screen uh, if you want to. So both uh, both engines have that. The other option is the 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine with the auto start stop technology as well. So those are your two options for you uh, for different engine capabilities. Of course, these are all standard and four x four. You're getting the trimmer because you want to go serious off-roading with this. Uh, and uh, that's why you're looking at the trimmer equipment here. So they will also, both engines will have the electronic 10 speed automatic transmission as well. And they will both come with the 373 uh, electronic locking gear ratio. So that's going to be standard equipment. You will also get select shift uh, automatic transmission with a progressive range select with that. So select shift is like using manual transmission for the vehicle there. So also going to get 4x4 electronic shift on the fly with the neutral toe capability with this one here. So being able to use that shift on the fly pretty easily shifting it into four high four low and such uh, for that you will also get selectable drive modes and i love the trimmer because you get some extra drive modes here you're going to get a normal an eco sport tow haul slippery deep snow sand mud rut you also get a rock crawl mode with the trimmer edition here so we really didn't see that before the raptor until the trimmer came out also trimmer does get the trail control with the trail one pedal drive and trail turn assist which is a new technology uh, that we're seeing we did see that introduced in the bronco and now we're seeing it with the trimmer edition as well 
Uh, you do get auto hold, so that means if you want to, you're at a stoplight, stop sign, something like that, you have the brake press, you want to press that auto hold, it'll hold the brake for you so you can take your foot off the brake. Um, 373 electronic locking gear, issue. I mentioned that already. Uh, you will also notice that you get increased ride height and improved approach and departure angles with the Tremor Edition here, because again, made to go off-road. You'll get the 9.75 inch gear set as well. And then of course, just like with all the other uh, trucks, you're gonna get a electronic or electric parking brake. Also get a fully boxed steel frame uh, with the aluminum body alloy. Uh, the fail-safe cooling system you will get also for the shocks uh you're gonna get the off-road front and rear shocks so they are the with the trimmer logo on the rear ones so those are the the shocks that you're gonna get so again trimmer shocks as i might want to call them your springs the front ones are going to be coil springs the back will be your leaf springs back there um, the front stabilizer bar as well, just like on all the other F-150s, power rack and pinion steering. Uh, now with this one here, you're going to get, uh, all, all the other F-150s will get hill start assist, but with the trimmer package, kind of like with the FX4 off-road package, you will also get the hill descent control to help you as you're going downhill uh, with it. Also, you're going to get unique trimmer control arms and front knuckles as well. So very dedicated, again, off-road capability here, taking a step further. Uh, not quite to the uh, to the capability of the uh, Raptor, but pretty close uh, with this uh, the Tremor mechanical features here. Uh, now let's talk about some safety features, and these are a little different than some of the other trims. So I'm going to go back and we're going to kind of go over some of the safety features. If you've uh, watched maybe the XL XLT and Lariat videos, all the same safety features as that one there. Uh, so um, so if you've watched those, you've seen this. You can always use the timestamps to move around to those different sections. But let's jump in and talk about some of the safety features next. So talk about some safety features here for uh, uh, for just a second. We're going to go over all those safety features and uh, don't have a lot of visuals for this. And Ford's website doesn't really show some of these things either. So let's just go through these re real quickly. Now, for the airbag system, you have driver and front passenger front airbags. So it's a dual stage airbag that deploys a different size airbag. Depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. It does have seatbelt sensors underneath so it knows how far, how close you are to the front of the vehicle. Also, the driver and front passenger have seat mounted side impact airbags. So if you do have that side collision, it's gonna deploy an airbag beside the seat to help protect them. Also, safety canopy side curtain airbags. It's gonna deploy down for the first and second rows to help protect from breaking glass and such with a rollover sensor, so if it rolls over, it'll help protect those from glass coming into the vehicle. Now you do get advanced track with roll stability control. So the whole go behind that, it uses curve control uh, system to help keep you on your intended path. So if you go into that curve a little too fast, maybe it's slick outside, it's trying to keep you use a series of brakes around the vehicle and uh, torque where it needs to on one of the outside wheels to help you keep you on your intended path. Now, if you are in an accident, it does have SOS, Post crash alert systems, uh, honks the horns, flashes the lights if you're on, on the side of the road needing help. And it does have pre collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So it's going to get pedestrian detection on the front. You also have to get front collision warning and you're going to get dynamic brake support. So it's going to preload those brakes. So it's going to use a series of uh, sensors that, hey, the vehicle in front of you is going slower than you and you're going to hit them if you don't hit your brake. Uh, alerts you of that and then also preloads the brakes so that when you brake, it's going to brake even faster for the vehicle. Uh, you do also get post-collision braking, so if you're in an accident, uh, maybe you're unconscious, can't put that vehicle in park or forget to put it in park, it's going to break the vehicle so you don't have a more severe accident that way. Also, you get a perimeter alarm that's going to help uh, alert you, and when you have the vehicle locked up, walk away. If the, somebody tries to shake the vehicle or get into the vehicle, it's going to set the alarm off. Um, so you're going to have that as well. Um, most of these systems will get intrusion and inclination sensors as well. So if somebody does break in, it has sensors inside to let you know if there's someone inside the vehicle, as well as if somebody's trying to jack the tires up and down. Now, sometimes those two sensors there um, are taken off the vehicle because of park constraints. Now, I don't know if they are right now. Uh, we get the optional equipment. We'll let you know if that's that's something they're doing. Also, secure lock passive NFF system, which means only the coded key can start the vehicle, basically. So that's a nice system to have. Also, you do get the lane keeping system as well. That is standard equipment on this. So that's going to give you your lane keeping aid system, alert system, and the driver alert. So driver alert means that if it recognizes you're taking your hands off the steering wheel too often, it's going to alert you and let you know you're doing that. Also, you do have a lane keeping aid or alert, which means that the alert system will allow you to leave your lane. But once you cross that line, it's going to vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've crossed that line. The aid system will help go over and try to keep you in your lane. 
Uh, so you can use those together. What it'll do is when you get over the lines, it'll vibrate the steering wheel, but still try to keep you within your lane. So a couple different ways to use that system. So that's all the safety features I want to cover. Now let's talk about some of the exterior features uh, on the trimmer package. Now let's talk about the exterior styling, and we're going to start with the paint colors first. So we're going to go on up to paint, and I'll let you know what paint colors are available on this trimmer. We do have a gate black that is available. I believe that's the antimatter blue that is available, which is... Uh, that's maybe what it would look like in the sunshine. Um, a darker uh, blue color for you. Carbonized gray is available, which looks very good on the shimmer package, by the way, I think. Uh, the iconic silver, which also looks good. Uh, we do have Oxford white as well. And we have stone gray metallic. We also have the star white metallic tricoat. Now you're seeing with this one here, uh, does require you to go up to the Tremor High package to add this a color. Uh, so that is required and also adds another $800 to that color. So if I say no, it won't let me pick that color. Um, and then we do have these the Avalanche. Uh, looks white in this image, but it's actually a, a light tan color. Uh, so it's a tan uh, with some gray in it, uh, but beautiful color uh, Avalanche. And then we do have Azure Gray, and it's not showing you. There you go. Uh, it does require you to go to the high package to get this color as well. And it's not showing you that it costs extra, but it does. It is a, it is a tri-coat. So anytime you see a tri-coat, it will cost a little extra for that color uh, to do that. So there you go. Those are the different colors. I'm going to put it on carbonized gray, I think, for this uh, the rest of this video. So there we go there. So let's go on down. Uh, actually, we're going to use these images right here. We're going to make oh, it a little bit bigger. And then we're going to go ahead and go over this right here. Now, for the uh, front of it, we do have the unique uh, uh, hood up here. So this is a very dedicated hood. So we do see the same hood design on the black appearance package. So if, you, if it looks familiar, that's where you're seeing that. So the hood is kind of a straight across hood with the, uh, the heat extractors there. So a unique tremor style hood here. Um, and uh, this is a, actually a hood that was introduced into the tremor package. Um, and then the black appearance package received us this, this last year without even telling us. It's not even on the order guide, but it's going to get the same style. But it started with the tremor package here. Uh, we do also have the unique grill. So it's a tremor style grill with the orange accent. So you can see it's a kind of a carbonized gr uh, grill here, two bar grill with the orange accent going through the middle. So very dedicated grill to the tremor edition here. Uh, the bumper, body colored uh, bumpers uh, throughout here. That's this part right here, as well as the front top fascia, which is underneath the headlights. That's going to be body, body colored for you. Uh, your front tow hooks ha are, have a unique color. You're going to see that orange accent on those. So you're going to get front tow hooks as well up here. You will also get for your lights, and we'll talk about those for a second. You get your daytime running lights. Those can be configured to be on during the daytime if you want to. So, so configurable, controllable daytime running lights. Uh, auto headlights as well. So auto headlights means that these headlights will come on automatic when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light. They are LED reflector headlights, so LED is so much brighter. So you're going to have those as well. Rain lamp as well means that when you have your wipers on, the, the, headlight, the headlights will come on automatically for you. You also do get LED fog lights down here, and then you get an LED cornering lights and signature lighting. So that's the light that, that kind of goes out around there. Uh, as well so that's pretty cool and how that works auto high beam as well a lot like your automatic headlight but at nighttime someone's really dark outside those headlight those uh, high beams will come on automatically when somebody approaches you in the city lights it's going to shut off now automatic headlights as well as a uh, configurable daytime running lights are two features that you'll find that you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your vehicle settings screen also, we do have skid plates. You can kind of see it here on the front. So you're going to have a bash plate up in there on the front. Skid plates underneath to protect the gas tank, the transfer case, and such from anything that you might go over when you're going off-road. So pretty cool in how that all works. Now, moving to the side over here, 18-inch alloy wheels with a dark matted finish uh, for that. So a very dedicated wheel to the Tremor Edition here. It's going to come standard with all-terrain tires. So it's going to be a 275 70 R18 all-terrain tires. It goes with it. Tire pressure monitoring system, uh, four-wheel disc brakes with ABS uh, as well with the vehicle. Now let's talk about your mirrors for a second. Actually, you know what? The order guy doesn't mention this, but over here, you're going to have a very dedicated uh, fender um, vent over here that's going to say trimmer on it with the orange accent, as you can see right there. Your mirror cap is going to be a black skull cap, so it's going to be that molded in black on the outside of there. It, the side view mirrors is going to be a manual folding mirror. It's going to have power and heated glass. Also going to have turn signal indicators on the outside over here. And the driver's side view a mirror is going to have auto dimming feature, which means those cars want to pass you with those bright lights. It's going to dim that mirror right there. 
Also, uh, it's going to have high intensity LED security approach lamp. That's going to light the ground beside the vehicle. So like, some people like to call it your puddle lights there. Um, also, you're going to get LED spotlights. So these li lights on the outside are going to double as spotlights. There's a switch for each left and right for those. So you'll have that. And you're going to get your Bliss, the blind spot information system with cross traffic alert that includes trailer coverage. So that means that it's going to monitor the blind spot of your vehicle when you have a trailer of the trailer as well. So if there's someone in your blind spot, it's gonna put a light in the corner of that mirror unless it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Now, as you're backing up without a trailer, it will have cross traffic alert. So if somebody crosses your path behind you, it's gonna alert you and let you know series of tones that you need to stop because there's someone coming. Uh, your backup camera in the center stack screen will show that they're coming, which direction they're coming from. So you know when it's clear for you to go ahead and back up. So I love the Bliss system. The belt line molding is black here as part of this edition. You will have body color door handles. So in this case, it's the carbonized gray door handles. Um, you will also get intelligent access with push button start. Uh, so uh, just put your hands in the door handle with the key fob in your pocket. It's going to unlock the vehicle, let it get in and out. Press the uh, little button on the outside of it when you want to get out. Do keep in mind, putting your hands in the door handle, it's going to automate, it's going to unlock the vehicle. If you put your hand in there and press the button, it's not going to know what it wants to do. It's going to keep it unlocked. So you need to make sure you remove your hand, just press the outside of it to uh, to start. I've seen some different forums where they've, they've been complaining about that system not working well, and that's probably why. Also, you're going to see the keypad entry on the pillar right there, so you can get in and out, unlock and locking it. If you don't have the keys on you, uh, you can uh, use that keypad for that. Also, it's going to have the an integrated key with remote start on it as well. So you can, if you're close enough proximity, remote start the vehicle using that remote. I'll talk about another way you can remote start it later. It takes a little longer, but you can do it through an app that's free to use as well. Now, the running boards over here on the side are going to be a unique Tremor style step bars on the side over here. So very unique and dedicated to the Tremor edition. We don't see it on any of the other uh, trims. Um, Similar style to the Rapture, but not quite uh, the same. You will get a side decal over here that says, say, Tremor on the side, as you can see. And then you do get a the extended range 36-gallon fuel tank on this, whether it be the EcoBoost or the 5.0-liter engine. Uh, it does have the Easy Fuel Kappa's filler door, so you just open that door. The outside door, just put the nozzle in and don't have to worry about it. No cap to worry about, lean behind, getting your hands dirty, anything like that. Uh, there is a double door system, so the most inner door has two different levers that has to be perfectly pressed. The nozzle at the pump is going to be the correct size, but most of your gas cans, if you run out of gas, will not be. So you want to make sure you use the funnel that is located behind the rear seats uh, back there on the passenger side over there. So let's go ahead and we're going to move over to this back. As we talk about the back here... <clears throat> Oh, boy. There we go. So, <clears throat> talking about some of the features here in the back you, on your cargo lamp up here, you're going to see center high mounted stoplight, which is the red light there, and then cab lights as well that are back here. So, those are going to be integrated on the back of the cab so you can see, you know, back in there. And it's kind of your third brake light in a sense. Uh, you would have, have a fixed glass back here uh, with privacy glass and these back windows and back glass. Uh, it does have rear defrost standard equipment on this. Now for your tailgate, you will get a power tailgate lock and a remote tailgate release. So you can press that on your remote and then that tailgate will, will go down for you. Uh, tailgate assist for when you're lifting it up as well. Rear view camera here on the back with the uh, dynamic hitch assist. Uh, so back there, I believe it does have an LED. It looks like it has an LED light back there too. I'm not, can't remember if that's standard or not, uh, but you'll have a rear view camera. Also, your rear bumper is going to be body colored back here. You'll notice a unique uh, cutout for your exhaust because you're going to have a dual exhaust with a unique uh, uh, exhaust outlet in the back. So pretty cool. Tow hooks back here as well. So you can see two tow hooks on the back. That's going to be standard equipment for you. Uh, reverse sensing system. That's uh, Those are going to be on the bumpers. So that way as you're backing up, you're going to get alert if you get too close to anything. And you get reverse brake assist. So as you're backing up, if you that sensor's going off, you're not paying attention to it, there's someone back there, it's going to brake the vehicle for you. So reverse brake assist works really well. I have it on my truck and it works uh, very good. We do have the class four trailer tow hitch package. So it's going to give you the class four receiver hitch, smart trailer tow connector, and also give you the four pin and seven pin wiring as well. Now this will have the uh, spare tires gonna be underneath the vehicle uh, with a, uh, you do have a heavy duty jack that comes with it that's gonna be located in the cab behind the passenger seat again where the funnel is <clears throat> back there. Um, also don't forget, uh, almost forgot to mention, does have trailer sway control with the vehicle uh, as well. That's, that's gonna be standard equipment. 
Um, and then your tow hooks in the back, I mentioned that. And then inside, uh, if, inside the bed here, you're gonna have some tie downs in there. You're gonna also have in there a 400 watt outlet. So you'll have an outlet inside the bed in there. And there's some other ones inside the cab we'll talk about when we get in there. And then you're gonna also have zone lighting. Zone lighting uses the lights underneath these mirrors, as well as the front LEDs, the back LEDs and such to be able to light the, around the vehicle. There's four different zones. You can have all of them on at once if you want to, or one particular zone if you're camping and such. It only want the one in the back or something like that. So uh, that's all of our exterior features. Let's move inside and talk about some of the interior features now. Now moving to the interior in here, we are, as you're getting in, you can't really see it in here, but you will have scuff plates inside for the uh, driver and front uh, passenger doors there. Also illuminated entry as well. It's gonna light up up in here on the overhead console and down in the footwells and the, and the little media hub area. Uh, you will get uh, the fade on, uh, fade to off interior lighting as you get out of the vehicle as well. You're gonna get uh, carpeted uh, flooring in here with the carpeted matching floor mats with the Tremor logo on the floor mats as well. Uh, now also, uh, let's go into this angle here. So if you look here, you notice a nice orange accent on there right by the vents. Also the air conditioning registers are gonna be black veins with the chrome knobs on those uh, for those uh, air vents as well, the air registers, I should say. Um, and then uh, for the seats there, going back to this shot here, I will, uh, for the front and rear seats, we're going to have a 10-way power driver seat and a multi-adjustable front passenger seat. Uh, so you can see the adjustment over here for the, you know, the power backrest, uh, power lumbar, power seat going forward and back. Uh, up and down for the driver's seat as well there uh it will get unique cloth sport uh seats here 20 or 40 console 40 here in the front up here and then uh it does have a 60 40 rear seat back here and again that's gonna be a cloth seat with the trimmer uh accent and then the orange stitching on that cloth seat there for you so there you go and then you will have a floor uh, con uh, uh floor console with the floor shifter or the console shifter i'm sorry um so that's going to be on there. You will get orange stitching uh, on the console as well, too, uh, with that. Uh, you do have these uh, back seats that do uh, flip. The seat cushions do flip up for you. And then the seat backs can come down as well. Um, and then, of course, your front seats are going to get heated seat features. So heat for the driver and front passenger. And you're going to get under seat storage as well uh under there now in the back you will get a 400 watt outlet on the back of the console as well as some usb ports back there and then uh, of course moving to the front you will have the power windows also power door locks with auto lock as well so the automatic when you got to start going it's going to automatically lock it there um, and then the you have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel with the manual locking uh, for that uh, so it'll go up and down forward and back for you uh, also, we do have the cruise control on the steering wheel, and you're going to have redundant controls for your audio as well as controls for the productivity screen. It's an 8-inch productivity screen uh, in the instrument cluster there, actually showing the big 12-inch, and that's actually an upgrade. We'll talk about that in a little bit, so that's not quite the right display there. It's going to be an 8-inch screen, usually comes around there with the um, your speedometer attack there. Uh, it does have, uh, for the uh, controls here, a push-button start is back behind there. I uh, mentioned it earlier. Let me go to the 360 view so you can see this a little bit better. So push button starts back in there right there. Uh, also, you're going to get the selectable drive modes and your uh, four wheel drive system is right here, uh, right there. For the climate is a dual zone climate control. So the driver and front passenger have two different temperatures. It does have the sync four system with the 12 inch touchscreen. Does have information on demand, which means this section over here, you can uh, flip up and down through different tasks. And then you can swipe that to the left and it will it'll kind of change places with the whatever's over here. So uh, that's pretty cool on how that works. Also, you're gonna have wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as well. 911 Assist as well that goes with that. And then a digital owner's manual and conversational voice command, which means that you can say like, okay, Ford or okay, Ford pass, and it's gonna listen for you. So you don't have to hit the button for it to start listening. So that's a really nice upgrade for the Sync 4 system. Also, you get the connected navigation, which means you're gonna get three months of service free. And then after that, you have to sign up for a subscription for the navigation system. So I also get Sirius XM satellite radio with the 360L. And then up here, you will have the, uh, Upfitter switches, as you can see right up there. You do get a sunglass spin on the overhead console, and that's where your lights are at as well up there. Uh, you do get for the mirror, it is a day-night mirror, so there's a lever underneath that you flip. So when cars come behind you, those bright lights at night, you can flip that down for them. 
uh, visors on the, uh, you do have these visors with vanity mirrors on the back side of those. And then down in here, this is a media hub area. So it will have a 400 watt outlet actually over here, you know, a 400 watt outlet there with the PowerPoint there as well. And then down in the media hub area, you can have some USB ports as well down in there. And then lastly, this does have the four pass connect. Uh, so that allows you to stay connected to the vehicle using the Ford Pass app. Free app you download. You can un unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere. You can remote start your vehicle from anywhere. Schedule remote start times. Find the location of your vehicle, the tire pressure in your vehicle, the fuel that you have in it. All that using that free app that you can download. So that's all of our interior features. Now let's, what we're going to do is go over here to these packages and talk about some of these this high equipment group and let you know what's included for $7,500. Okay, so let's talk about this Tremor High Package. It's $75.25 for this package. And I click on the eye and it gives you some of the things that are in here, but there's a lot more than just that. So we're going to go over We actually selected it so we can kind of see what it looks like on the outside as we go through this and then on the inside too uh, with this upgrade. So uh, first off, um, I'm going to try to go through my list and get the exterior features first. We do have rain sensing wipers that are included as part of this. So rain sensing wipers are real nice because you can have one of the intermittent settings when it starts to rain, it's going to just automatically wipe your wipers for you. As it rains harder, it's going to wipe faster. So you don't have to keep adjusting it, which is really nice. Now for your headlights here, you're going to get LED projector with dynamic bending headlights with LED tail lights. So LED projectors, so it's gonna project it out instead of reflecting in and out. And also dynamic bending means that as you turn the steering wheel, it's gonna turn the light to light up your intended path, which is something that I like. I have it in my truck and really love how that works. So uh, that you're gonna have that as well. Now you also get the two speed automatic four wheel drive system, which is basically, I kind of look at this package as being your Lariat trim equipment. So it's taking that trimmer off-road package, kind of like more of an XLT equipment. And then when you add the uh, high equipment group, you're getting like Lariat type features. So that's usually when you get that two-speed four-wheel drive system with a mechanical locking four-wheel drive. So uh, that's that's a system you're gonna have. Also, you're gonna have a high lock transfer case as well. That's gonna go uh, come standard with this one or two. Uh, you also get the, I'm um, trying to get just the extra features here. Um, a lot of interior features that come with this. Now for your mirrors, you do get power folding mirrors here. So with auto fold, which means that when you get out, lock the vehicle, it's gonna fold those mirrors in against the glass so you can power fold in against the glass. Still get power heated feature on there, turn signal indicator. Uh, you get auto dimming feature already, as we talked about, the high intensity LED security approach lamp the LED spotlights, all that's the same. Now you're gonna get the body colored skull caps and it really, it's not showing you that image on here. So I'm, I feel bad that it's not updating it, but you will get body colored mirror cap on the outside of that as well as part of this um, as uh, too. And then you're gonna get driver memory that goes, uh, memorizes the this feature as well. So as you can tell, we'll talk about some other driver memory features when we get inside, but that's what you're gonna have. Now, moving around to the back, you're gonna get the power sliding rear window as well. Uh, on the vehicle so not only going to have the rear defrost and the privacy glass now you're going to have power sliding rear window back there too on the back you will also get the pro trailer backup assist with the pro trailer hitch assist uh so that's a pretty cool feature to have so it is using that dial to be able to back up that trailer when you program that trailer in so that's a pretty cool feature to have um now most of the features are in the interior so let's go inside and kind of uh, look at some of these interior features here um and there's some packages that are included in this too so we'll talk about those in just a little bit so when you look in here you're getting it this is where you're getting that 12 inch productivity screen so see on this one they actually have it backwards so this is where sometimes ford's website's not 100 accurate that is almost the screen you get actually that's not even the screen you get as part of the standard equipment so eight inch square screen the standard equipment, when you go to this uh, equipment group, uh, you actually get the 12 inch digital screen that we saw earlier that I kind of mentioned was not the correct one. So you get upgraded with the 12 inch productivity screen uh, on the inside in there. Also get b &O audio sound system, Bang & Olufsen with eight speakers, including subwoofer, HD radio as well. So re really nice upgraded sound system that comes standard with this in here. You also get the heated steering wheel. So it's gonna be leather wrapped heated steering wheel which is a nice feature to have go along with those heated seats it is included with the remote start features whether you use the remote or the app that we talked about earlier now you also get power adjustable pedals that'll go forward and back that will be included in your driver memory you will also get power tilt and telescoping steering wheel so that steering wheel we mentioned earlier that you pull the lever underneath and it goes forward and back up and down now it's done electronically and is included in your driver memory so part of your driver memory is going to be your seat 
your steering wheel, your pedals, and your exterior mirrors. So those are all gonna be adjusted and set up with the driver memory features that are on the, the buttons that are on the door over there. So real nice in how that all works. Now we mentioned heated seat, uh, standard equipment earlier. Uh, you get second row heated seats on those two outbound seats that are included in this equipment group as well. Uh, down in this media hub area, now that door kind of slides open, you do get a wireless charging pad down there as well. And then on the uh, overhead console, I'm gonna go up here, on the visor, I should say, you're gonna, it's not showing it, but you get three garage door opener transmitter buttons. So those are gonna be on there as well. So universal garage door openers are also included in here. So, and then lastly, you get the leather seats. So leather seats are standard, are included in this package. So you're gonna get the leather seating surfaces, unique tremor leather seats is what they're calling here with not only the heat feature now, but also ventilated seats as well and driver memory. So that's all gonna be included in this equipment group. So as you can tell, a lot of things, also the advanced security package. Uh, we talked about primary alarm earlier. The advanced security package is where you get the, uh, I thought it was included in this, but it's uh, part of the advanced security package. That's where you get your intrusion and inclination sensors is with this advanced security package, which is included in this too. And then also there are two packages that are also included in this, um, this equipment group. Um, one of them is the 360 degree camera package, and the other is a Copilot 360 Assist 2.0 package. And I've done videos previously on some other model, other trims with both of these packages. So check out that equipment. I'm gonna I'll just play those clips for you. That's so much easier for me to do here. Uh, so those two are also included in this equipment group. Now, another package I wanna talk about that is not showing up here on this, on this uh, build and price uh, that is available. So this year, the trip, the tow tech package is not available on the F-150 uh, in the 23 config and 23 model year, uh, but the 360 degree camera package is available. So it does require to have either the tow package or the max trailer tow package to get the 360 degree camera, but it does include and use those cameras underneath those side mirrors, as well as the front and back to be able to see all the way around you. Um, and also does include reverse trailer guidance as well. And with this package on there. So that is available on the 501A or 502A equipment group, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, five and a half or six and a half foot bed. Now let's talk about a package that was uh, included in the 502A equipment group, and that is the Copilot 360 Assist 2.0 package. This is optional on the 501A equipment group. So again, if you don't want those 20 inch wheels, you can go with the, the 501A equipment group and then add the Copilot 360 Assist 2.0 package to it. So that gives you that adaptive cruise control with stop and go, the lane centering, the, um, the speed sign recognition, evasive steering assist, intersection assist and that connected built-in nav now we talked about it earlier if you missed it in the part of the 502a so that includes that being able to uh, for that adaptive cruise control set that cruise and if you're going slower than somebody it's going to slow you down to go their speed until you pass him and resume even bring it to complete stop and that stop and go type of traffic and just hit that resume button to resume that speed going up and then it notices those speed signs so if the speed zone changes then it's going to lower, slow you down to go the speed of the speed sign or whatever integration you have in there. And then the lane center and keeping the center of your lane. So those are all included with that. And then evasive steering assist, if you didn't see that part of the video, if you can't stop in time, you need to avoid. It's going to help you with the steering with that around that. And then also with the intersection assist. So if you're coming up to intersection, you're turning into it, it'll stop you so you don't have that accident. And then upgrading your built your your connected navigation to the connected built-in navigation navigation that allows you to give you three years of services without having to pay for a subscription so again that is optional on the 501a equipment group so you don't have to go up to 502a to get that package if you want to stay with the 18 inch wheels this is an opportunity to be able to do that and add that to that 501a now we're going to start talking about some different packages and we can find those right up here when we go to packages we have that high equipment group um, but actually i'm going to go back to the standard equipment here on this because i want to show you there you go so we did, we did just talk about how the um, Copilot 360 uh, package is included in the high equipment group. And so is the Copilot 360 Assist 2.0 package. Those are both also optional on the standard equipment. So if you, uh, if you do have the standard equipment package, the 401A, and you want either one of those, you can still get it is optional equipment on those two. So just wanna let you know those on those packages. But now we're gonna cover some a couple other packages that are also available. Uh, this bed utility package, the trailer tow package here, as well as the blue, the active, uh, the 
It's actually called the Copilot 360 Active 2.0 package. We're going to talk about all three of those packages. And yes, I've recorded videos and other trims with those three packages. So I'm going to play those clips for you on those. Again, the bed utility package, the trailer tow package, and the active, two, um, the active package. Now, the tow package and the bed utility package are both available on either the standard equipment or the high equipment group. But the Copilot 360 Active 2.0 that gets you the Blue Cruise, that requires a 360 camera and is only available on the 402 equate. You got to go up to the high equipment group to get that package. But let me uh, play these three clips for you so you know what's included in those packages. So talking about the bed utility package now, some of these are already included uh, with the vehicle because um, you do get the uh, LED box lighting and zone lighting already as part of this. So uh, as it mentions there, it is included in the King Ranch High Package right there. Uh, um, also available on the King Ranch Standard Package. So you can get this as optional equipment. So um, so it does, it does already, you already have the zone lighting as standard equipment and the LED box lighting. But this will give you the box link system. Uh, so it has a lockable cleats you can put on the side of the bed. Also, you're going to get, this is where you, you need this to get the tailgate step with the tailgate work surface. So if you want the tailgate step, and the tailgate work surface, this is a package you need to make sure you put on your vehicle. Uh, it's no longer a standard, a standalone option like it has been in the past. So as you, as it mentions here on some of these, uh, it does require certain things. Uh, does they require the 20 inch, uh, I'm not sure if that's a, well, it's required for this package. It doesn't look like it. But again, this is included in the, the high package for the King Ranch Edition and the Platinum Edition. Uh, but for uh, your um, King Ranch Standard and Platinum Standard, it is optional equipment for you. Now let's talk about a couple different tow packages you can add on top of the Lariat trim. And one of them is your trailer tow package. It should be available on the 501A or the 502A equipment group. Just double check. Yep. So it's available on either one of those equipment groups and either of your two bed sizes or two wheel drive or four by four. Now with this one here, it does, this is showing that it includes several of these features, which some of these are already standard on the Lariat trim. Like you're getting the class four receiver hitch already. You're getting the seven pin and uh, wiring harness, which includes an adapter for four pin. You're also getting the, um, the tailgate LED light, the smart trailer tow connector already included as standard equipment on the Lariat trim. What you're getting on addition to that on this is you're going to get the pro trailer backup assist and that allows you to use that dial to control the trailer instead of controlling the steering wheel to know if it goes to move the trailer back and forth. So that's uh, included this as well as your trailer brake controller. Uh, so that controls the brake of the trailer, especially if you're going downhill to kind of help you so you're not using so much the brake power, especially if you have a heavy load back there. So uh, trailer tow package is, again, optional in the 501A or 502A equipment group for you. It includes a couple different nice upgrades. Now let's talk about the Copilot 360 Active 2.0. Now this upgrades uh, your system. It does require to have the 502A equipment group because you have to have the Copilot 360 Assist uh, 2.0. Um, but even if you added that package to the 501A, you cannot add this unless you go up to the 502A equipment group. So now this system here does also, I forgot to mention on the uh, the other, the Copilot 360 Assist 2.0 on the 501A does require to have the 360 degree cameras as well with that package. But now this, uh, this uh, Active 2.0 is going to give you some great features. So this is where you're going to get your Blue Cruise and your Active Park Assist 2.0. Gets you the front sensing system as well as you can see there. Uh, now this package here uh, is a real nice package. So the that Blue Cruise basically allows you to go hands free. So with the active the Park Assist 2.0, the adaptive cruise control with the lane center, you pretty much have everything except you have to keep your hand on the steering wheel. This is where in certain places and certain situations, it'll actually tell you you can take your hands off of the steering wheel and it will control the steering for you in some of those uh, areas there. So uh, that's pretty nice having that Blue Cruise. Also, the active Park Assist 2.0 Will help you parallel park reverse perpendicular park and park out using that system it helps you find those parking spaces and helps you uh, parking the vehicle controlling all the steering uh, and the shifting of the vehicle even with the active park assist 2.0 now i will tell you this uh, right now they are having issues with the park assist 2.0 and uh, so they do require you to add the active park assist 2.0 removal so that just uh, still gives you the blue cruise and all those features but it removes the availability to be able to use the active park assist 2.0 so i know late in 22 you had to add that to get your vehicle scheduled so i think in 23 they're hoping to catch up on parts so that's why they're making an option and optional equipment for you uh on of course it's showing you it's being optional on the 
uh, the 502A because you have to have this package to have that. Uh, but you want to make sure if you want to get an early 23 that you add that removal until the, it becomes available. So uh, I'm sure they'll let us know this month with constraints and such that that's probably something will have to be added to your vehicle. But just so you know, if you see that option in there, that you may want to select that unless you're willing to wait for your vehicle, hoping that it'll become available uh, later in 23. So again, this is a great package, gives you that blue cruise. This is where you get your hands free driving. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover the uh, optional equipment. These are standalone options here for you that are available. Uh, starting here, and we're gonna go through this. I have my order guide here because that's 100% accurate. This may not be so. And as we go through this, we're going to go over some of the features that are, you know, factory installed options or dealer installed options, which means that dealer would install it for you. And a lot of the dealer installed options are things you can get later afterwards. And I recommend that you do it that way. Uh, the other, there are some Ford accessories that are put on at the factory that can also be put on later. So we'll talk about those as we go through these uh, using the building price first here. So, of course, the bed divider here. So as you can see, we'll click on the eyes on these. You can see a closer image of that. So the bed divider, as you can see here, does require the box link system. Um, and it's not available with certain configurations. So you can see here, it's not available with the bed extender, bed mat, the pivot, the pivot box, uh, storage box, loadable ramps, uh, the hard and retractable tonneau covers. So that's something to keep in mind. And uh, so this bed divider kit is a dealer installed option. So it would be shipped to the dealership ahead of time and the dealership put it in it. And this is available in either the standard or the high equipment group. So, um, and hopefully you guys understand, I, I want I've, maybe I want to make sure I didn't go over this too fast for you, but this high equipment group is that one that we talked about that's this package. So this is a four, what they consider the 401A equipment group, the standard. And then the high equipment group is the 402A equipment group. So when I say that some of these pack and some of these standalone options require a certain of those, uh, I like to make sure you know that. So now there's three tonneau covers here. There's a soft folding, a hard folding, and a retractable bed cover. And those are Ford accessories. So that means that they would be put on at the at the factory if you put them on your builds. I will tell you a lot of times these will hold up your builds because they have to go off site and get that put on. There's only so many of those they can do in a, in a capacity. So they can't do as many. I would suggest you do this later get it put on at your dealership because the dealership can install this for you or you can even install it yourself and get your bed cover later these other two are also the same way so you have the plastic drop-in bed liner uh, so it's kind of a you know molded in material that drops in there uh, so kind of a plastic liner some people like to call it and again this is something uh, that is uh, available on either your equipment groups and um it's something that they put on at the factory, but it also can be put on later by your dealer. So I would recommend you do it that way, along with the spray and bed liner. So it's a tough bed spray and liner that also is the same way. It's a Ford accessory will be put on at the factory, but will hold up your build. And right now I do know for a fact on the F-150, they are over capacity. So there's only so many of these they can put on on order. So if you have this on your order, your order is probably gonna get delayed and possibly not even get built in this model year because you might have that on your order. So keep that in mind the bed mat this is all this is a dealer installed option so it'll be shipped to the dealership ahead of time um well you can't see the image there uh and the dealership would put it in your vehicle again not available now this is available uh, let me just double check my uh, it's available on any of your equipment either one of your equipment groups but it's not available with the, with the bed tray which we haven't talked about yet in the sport liner or the bed extender or those pickup box uh, with the hard and retractable or your drop-in liner so keep that in mind it's available with your spraying liner but not uh, otherwise. Again, this is something I'd get later. Um, it's a dealer installed option, so it shouldn't hold up your build, um, but you never know. Now, this in here, this shows the power sliding rear window. That's included in that 402A equipment group, but is available as a standalone option in the 401A equipment group. So if you don't want, hey, I don't want the leather and all that stuff, but I do want the power sliding rear window, you could add it. That is a factory installed option. You would definitely want to make sure you put it on your build if you're thinking you want that. The box link system, 80 bucks for that. I don't know if they're going to show any image of that. Nope, they aren't. So box link system are those uh, those plates that go in the side of the bed. That's where you you would need that for your bed divider to go into place. Also puts lockable cleats on there too. So if you want to use that to lock things down, that is showing as a dealer installed option. Uh, it's part of the bed um, bed utility package. So if you uh, looked at the bed utility package, it's included in there, but also is a standalone option for you on either the one, either the 401 or the 402A equipment group. I mentioned some of these uh, aren't checkmarked, 
but don't have a price, it's because they're probably included in that high equipment group, and rain sensing wipers is one of those. Twin panel moon roof. So let me double check my notes here. Uh, that is available in either the 401 or 42A equipment group. And it gives you the glass. You can kind of see an image right there. Uh, two panels up there with a the power sunshade. And that first panel will slide open for you if you want. So $1,500 for that option. That is a factory installed option. You'll want to make sure you order if you're going to get it. Engine block heaters are also one of those factory installed options. So if you want to be able to plug that, you know, that, uh, in, that cord into your vehicle to keep that engine block warm, uh, that is the equipment group. That is something you'll want to make sure you order from the factory if you're going to order that. Let me make sure I check that off. And it's available on either of the two equipment groups. The front axle with the torsion differential. So if you really want to have some uh, upgrade that off-road capabilities, get that front axle with the torsion differential. $500 for that. That is a factory installed option. You'll want to make sure you put on the vehicle and is available on the 401 or 402A equipment group. So you don't have to go up to the high to get that. The front and rear molded splash guards uh, without will lip molding. So if you want the splash guards, that is um, that is a dealer installed option. So we'll be shipped to the dealership ahead of time and the dealership would install it for you. Available on the 401 or 402 a, a equipment group. Most of the de uh, dealer installed options are not things that hold up your build, but are things you can get later. So it's really up to you um, whether you want to do that. Now the bed tray, uh, let's see if we can get an image of this. This is a, you can kind of see it. It is the, the same, the, you know, what your, your drop-in liner material is. So it's that plastic material, but it's only in the bottom. So it's not the sides. So this is also available. You can see not available with the drop-in liner or spraying liner, not available with the sport liner or the, the uh, bed mat or bed extender or the pivot box. Not sure why it's not available with that. I think it's because it gets in the way because it's on the floor. Uh, but that is available for you. Deal installed option if you do order it. Available on 401 or 402 a equipment group. Uh, the wheel locking kit. That is also a dealer installed option if you want to get that. Um, so replaces one of those lugs on each of the wheels with the lockable one. Uh, so that is available on either the 401 or 402 a equipment group. And is a dealer installed option. The dealer would install that for you. Uh, okay, moving down, Active Park Assist. Now, there is an Active Park Assist 2.0 removal. So for those that have the high equipment group or get the Active Park Assist 2.0, this is a removal. And I think the reason we didn't see that up there above before was because of constraints. They actually are trying to remove this from some orders. And they remove it when they have a capacity issue or a supply issue. Uh, so just keep that in mind. That's a possibility that that could happen on your build. Um, so just, so, just so you know that, um, and that is, um, that is a part, uh, actually this is the park assist. I'm sorry. The active park assist 2.0. This is for those that get the, the, um, the co-pilot 360 active with the blue cruise and active park assist. This is the removing the park assist removal. And this is actually something that has to be removed right now. So that is part of that active uh, Copilot 360 active package. You'll need to add this to it as well. So sorry about that. Uh, the 2.0, uh, two kilowatt of Pro Power on board. So if you want two kilowatts of Pro Power instead of just one, just an outlet back there, you could upgrade and add this to your vehicle. It's available on either of your two engines and either either of your two equipment groups, I believe. And that is a factory installed option you'd want to put on your build. Um, so just keep that in mind. It does require the the 360 degree camera package um, and uh, would remove the under seat storage uh, if you have that as well. So, um, so yeah, so if you get the, if you're on the 401A equipment group, you'll need to make sure you add the copilot or the 360 degree camera package to add the pro power onboard system there for you. So keep that in mind as well. Um, all right, moving down 360 degree camera, talked about that already. Um, it's actually listed as a standalone option, but we talked about it as a package earlier and the led projector led headlights we talked about that that's that's standard equipment so and then the led boxing also is standard equipment as well for you so and then we do have the two different mirror packages we talked about if you have the the 401a or the 402a equipment group those are two different mirrors that you get with that uh, moving down, let's go ahead and go and continue this. Uh, there's two different seat configurations here. We know when you choose that 402A, you get the leather seats, and that's why it would move the check mark over to the seat over here. Uh, moving down, we do have the uh, first aid kit. This is a dealer installed option, which means it's going to come to the dealership ahead of time. Available on the 401 or 402A equipment group, and uh, would be uh, they would basically take everything out of the box and put it in this nice Ford bag for you. So that's pretty much how that works. Again, available through Ford Accessories website. The floor liners. So you can get the all-weather uh, floor liners. 
$200 for those. You will still get the trimmer uh, carpeted mats as well. And these floor liners are a dealer installed option. So they'll come with your vehicle and the dealership will put them in place for you. Uh, so that's available for you. Um, actually, listed as a factory uh, option up here, I believe, if I can find it. Uh, anyway, can't find it. Oh, there it is. Um, so available on the 401 or 402 A equipment group. So sorry about that. Uh, power adjustable pedals, 170. So we mentioned it as part of the 402 A equipment group. But if you're on the 401 A and you really want it, power adjustable pedals are a factory installed option that you would want to uh, make sure you put on your build there. All right, so it actually talks about it there with the memory because that's part of the 402A equipment group and would check mark it if you chose that. The partitioned lockable fold flat storage. So let me see if they get an image of that. There you go. So that actually folds out and locks into place so you can put things in there without them rolling across in there. Um, shows a lock there, but I'll tell you right now, there's no lock. Um, so that's not that usually you would lay that seat down and you could lock it into place. And I have this same package on mine. It is not lockable, so I'm not sure why they're showing that image there. But anyway, um, but if you do get the two kilowatt, it will remove that. So that's an option for you uh, if you want that. And that is available in the 401A or 402A equipment groups for $215. Heated and ventilated seats are part of the 402A as well as this uh, power driver seat uh, as well. All right. The Pro Trailer Backup Assist is included in that 402A. Uh, integrated trailer brake controller. So this is optional equipment. It's a factory installed option if you want that. Um, so that is something you can add and available on either of your two equipment groups, uh, but it's also included in the trailer tow package. So if you get trailer tow package, you don't need to add that. This ash cup with the lighter, and there's an option with the, just the coin holder. So you can see it's just one without, with the lighter, one without. Those are dealer installed options um, and the dealership put it for you. That's something you can get through Ford Accessories, but it's available if you want to add it to your order, if you can. Now, these are both part of the 402A equipment group, as well as this and this. <laughs> there we go. And that. Uh, and then we do have the interior work surface. So this is pretty cool. Uh, hopefully, they have an image of that. Do they? No, <laughs> they don't. So interior work surface. So that fold, that console will fold. There's a button on the back that folds forward. Uh, once you put the uh, the floor the shifter down fold it down then you can put your computer on there and you can work right out of your uh, your uh, see if you can see that image right there you can kind of see how they're working right to write things on so it's pretty cool into your work surface that is available on the 401 or 402 a equipment group and is a factory installed option you'll want to make sure you add on your vehicle so keep that in mind right there wireless charging pad part of the 402a as well as the garage door openers you have an in-vehicle safe by console vault that is available for you you can kind of see what that looks like and that's available on either your two equipment groups would be a dealer installed option shipped to the dealership and they would put it in your vehicle for you so all right and then there are also this one down here it says Bino audio sound system by bang and olson eight speaker it's 610 so if that is included in the 402a equipment group but if you want on the 401A, you want to add that, you can as optional equipment for you. Now, there's also a B&O Unleashed 18 speaker by Bang & Olufsen, including a subwoofer. That one there, 18 speakers, including speakers in the headrest. That is available on the 402A equipment group. The reason there's not a price is because we didn't select the 402A, uh, but that is available for you as well in the vehicle. Anything else? Um, I don't think so. I think everything else is included. So there you go. Now, there are a couple things that I did not check mark that are showing in here uh, that I want to cover. Uh, they've actually mentioned it on a couple different situations on some of these. So uh, there is a bed cargo net that you can get. There's one that's a, a horizontal one and a vertical one. So uh, two different ones for you. The horizontal one goes there. So if you want to put things in there and put the cargo net over there, that way when you're going down the highway or something, that won't, they won't fly out. You have a vertical one as well. You can put things in uh, vertically if you want to use those box link systems. Uh, you can use that for those. So a couple different ones available. Those are dual installed options uh, that the dealership would give to you. There's also a bed tailgate lock by McGuard that is uh, not available with the bed utility package, uh, but does allow you in the 401A or 402A to put it on. It's a dual installed option as well. Um, we do have, it's showing the tailgate uh, decal and I believe that is where the letters are on the back you can get the tailgate letters I think that's what that is uh, doesn't specify there that's new I haven't seen that on there before 
And you do have the bed extender that's foldable against the side. Bed extender is also available. As we know, it's not available with your pickup box, um, the retractable bed cover there, and it's not available with the bed divider or the bed tray. So keep that in mind. If you want to get that bed extender, you can do that. It is a dealer installed option though, available on the 401 or 402A equipment group. Um, we also do have the individual tire pressure monitor system with a customer placed trailer camera. So with the 360 camera package is required and the trailer tow package, you can add a camera to the back of your trailer, which is pretty cool. Available uh, dealer installed option means they, they'll give it to you for you to install yourself. Available on the 401 or 402A equipment group. Um, not done yet. <laughs> then we got the pivot box, the pivot box a storage box by undercover that's on the right side so that swings out so you can put things in it and swings back away now that is not available with a couple different packages so it's not available with the bed divider the bed extender your tonneau covers uh with the hard or retractable and not available with your loading ramps uh, but it's available on the 401 or 428 equipment or as a dealer installed option another dealer installed option is the sport liner by bed rug so it is a bed rug that would go in there not available with the drop-in liner or spraying liner or the bed mat or the bed tray or the bed extender, but is available in the 401 or 402A equipment group. And the last thing I have on here, actually there's two things. Uh, the last dealer installed option is a tailgate Vicos, uh, dampening system available in the 401A equipment group. So I'm not sure what that uh, entails there. Uh, that's something I haven't seen before on there. So um, is it Vicos? Anyway, I'm not saying that right. Anyway, so there you go. And then a couple other things that take note is the front license plate bracket. So states that require front license plate, it's standard equipment. But states that do not require front license plate, it's optional equipment. So remember that, but it is available uh, to be able to put on your uh, build. And then the last couple things are some removals that might happen. So on the advanced security package, they may remove those sensors, the intrusion inclination sensors uh, when it's not available. So it does say, it does say in here required option, so on the 402A equipment group, so they might be putting that on the vehicles already. And then the other required option they're saying is the heated steering wheel removal. So on the 402A equipment group, you get the heated steering wheel, they will remove that option. Now that is something that I do know for a fact that is a retrofit they can put on later after you get your truck when they have more supply and demand. Uh, so that is something they're removing. And then also the auto start stop removals on here. Not showing a required option at this time, only when needed, but it is a possibility that they will remove the auto start stop from your truck as well. So there you go. Now I have covered all of the optional equipment that's available for the trimmer equipment group. Now I want to go ahead and end by going over this uh, summary section. So all these are different sections you can uh, move down and through, including the summary right here. So click on the summary and it goes to that summary information that shows you what you selected. Now we didn't select anything as we went through it, so it's showing zeros on everything here, but it kind of shows you when you get down to the bottom which are base prices and any options that you add, as well as a destination charge. So $18.95 is the cost to get the vehicle from you from or from the factory to you via the rail system and through a, a car hauler um, when you get close to your uh, different locations so that is a fee you do not have anything to do uh, you have to pay that i mean that is basically what ford's getting charged by the rail companies and the shipping companies to get that transported to the different dealers that are close to you so you're buying from a dealer you have to pay that so keep that in mind so there you go that's how that works you can go to this payment calculator down here and you can fiddle with these uh these figures here um you'll notice uh, normally there's a lease there's not a lease available on the trimmer off-road package uh so you can finance you can uh, change your down payment net trade your rate there you can change your term and it'll change your payment right up there when you save it it actually is going to show up right over there so and the reason i also mentioned this section too is if you go to the top of this section uh if you say hey this is exactly how i want my, to order my tremor um and you want to be able to take it to your dealership and explain that to them you can hit this print button and you can print it off and take it in and this is they have this is everything that we would need as a dealer to order your vehicle for you you can also hit the share button if you're maybe working with a dealership that's not local like if you're working with us then you can copy that and send that to an email to your salesperson um, and we can use that to go ahead and order your vehicle and order it correctly that way so uh, and so i kind of want to bring that up so you everybody would know how that all works now something i want to uh, kind of point out is that um this hopefully this video did help you out in ordering a vehicle with your local dealership 23 order banks are open right now for a trimmer as well 
Uh, so you can order those. So hopefully you got a good local dealership. Something to think about when you go in there and ask them is make sure you find out what any kind of extra add-ons are going to put on your vehicle. Because sometimes some dealerships will require a clear code or they'll require something like that to be added to the vehicle and they don't make that an option. So you might ask them about that. Also, you might want to ask them too if they know a little bit about price protection. Price protection means that they're going to lock in the price from when you go in and order the vehicle. So if there's any kind of price increases throughout the year before your vehicle comes in or even gets scheduled to be built, um, then um, you know Ford is allowing those dealers to price protect based on what the price was when you ordered your vehicle. But the dealerships need to go in there and know how to do the price protection as well as the incentive uh, rate lock and such. So if you go back over here to the website, you'll actually see right now, if you scroll clear to the top, let's go up to the model, uh, you'll see this special lock in 3.9% on any custom order. And that's locking in it from the time that you order the vehicle. Some dealerships don't know how to find that information when the vehicle comes in to get you the rate that was available when you ordered your vehicle. And of course, this may not work for the F-150. There's asterisks here. It's only certain vehicles and I, I don't know, but that's something to, to also keep in mind is, does your dealership know how to rate lock from the time you ordered the vehicle. And that's how they would go into Smart Vincent into the sale date and protect date to be able to lock those in for you. So make sure your dealership knows how to do those two things. And if you are struggling to find a good dealership that does that, we're doing MSRP pricing. We know how to do both of those, as well as we have only a $500 dealer fee and no other add-on fees, unless you wanna add some sort of, some, some way to protect your vehicle. And then we can uh, do that if you'd like to, but only if you'd like to. So if you wanna order with us, you can do that. We do have a, I have a special YouTube offer that I have where I'll do up to $1,000 of the shipping cost uh, for free. Uh, so we'll cover the first thousand dollars of your shipping costs if you finance the vehicle with us so i will tell you this that is not in lieu of any of the locked in rates special low rates um, because we have to pay for the shipping somehow and we usually get that from the kickback from the lenders uh from having the finance deal sent to them they'll give us enough that it won't cover 100 percent of the thousand dollars of the shipping cost but covers enough that we'll do that for you if you're looking to do that so keep that in mind if you want to do that, reach out to us. We can help you out with that. If you're, uh, you know, local and say, hey, well, you know what? I, I want to lock in my rate and such. Why would I work with you instead of my local dealership? Hey, if they honor everything, price protection, and they know how all that works, and they know how to keep you updated on any kind of constraints that might happen from the factory, like we talked about earlier with the different removals, then albeit there's some great dealerships, please work with them and, uh, and get your order in with them. Um, but if you're struggling to find that dealership and want to have trust and faith in a dealership that will you know, keep you updated and allow you to, to tell you when there's um, constraints and knows how to lock in prices and price protection as well, then Law MacArthur can help you out with that. So feel free to contact us if you want to do that. So I really appreciate it. Also, thank you for very much for watching the video to the end. And if you did, smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you like this video, you might like some of our other content, including our weekly live stream where we do keep you updated on what models are scheduling each week and any of those constraint issues that are happening. So uh, we do those on Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. So if you do like that, hit the red subscribe button down below so you can get subscribed to the channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you can get notified next time we have another video upload to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow us on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And there's my link tree account if you want to follow me on different social media sites. You can find all those links in one place right there on my link tree account. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Till the next one. Don't forget to stay positive. Be kind to one another. Be kind to yourself as well. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.